In this video, we'll do the derivative of tangent x using the limit definition. So that's the limit is h goes to 0 of f of x plus h, which is tangent x plus h, minus f of x, but that's just tangent x, all over h. So tangent of x plus h, question mark, we need to know what sine of x plus h is. The so sine of x plus h is sine x cosine h plus sine h cosine x. We know cosine of x plus h is cosine x cosine h minus sine x sine h. And tangent x plus h is just this sine x plus h divided by cosine x plus h. So I'll move the equal sign to the middle. We're going to multiply top and bottom by 1 over cosine x cosine h. So this will be, on the top will just be tangent x plus tangent h. So you can see that the cosine h will cancel in the first term and the sine h. The uh, cosine x term will cancel in the second term, and the rest will be tangent. Over cosine x, cosine h times the reciprocal of that will be 1 minus sine x over cosine x is tangent x. And sine h over cosine h is tangent h. So let's plug that in. So this will be the limit, so h goes to 0, of tangent x plus tangent h all over 1 minus tangent x tangent h minus tangent x all over h. So I'm just going to repeat the limit. Tangent h over 1 minus tangent x tangent h. We have minus tangent x. And we're going to do a common denominator, so this will be 1 minus tangent x tangent h, we multiply that in, it'll be tangent x minus tangent x squared tangent h. Tangent x and minus tangent x will cancel, so this will be the limit, h goes to 0. We can factor out a tangent h, so this will be tangent h times 1, and yeah, this is supposed to be plus because negative the negative is supposed to go in. So this would be 1 plus tangent squared x all over 1 minus tangent, and this would be h at the bottom. Tangent x, tangent h, and h is also in the denominator. But 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. This would be secant squared x. We can move it out of the limit. h goes to 0 of tangent h over h times 1 minus tangent x tangent h. So there's a fact about limits that the limit of any limit of a times b, as long as these limits converge, this will be the limit of a times the limit of b, as long as these both converge. So we can use that fact to say this is secant squared x times the limit as h goes to 0 of tangent h over h times the limit is h goes to 0 of 1 over 1 minus tangent x tangent h. And now if we plug in h, tangent h is 0. So this is just 1 over 1 minus 0, which is just 1, which means this really doesn't need to be here. This would be secant squared x times the limit, h goes to 0. Also, this would be sine h over cosine h, but I can just move that to another term limit. So this would be limit, h goes to 0 of 1 over cosine h, because sine h over cosine h is just tangent h. And again, this is just cosine of 0 is 1, so it's 1 over 1, which cancels. And this is a famous limit, it's just 1. So this derivative will just be secant squared x. So that is the derivative of tangent x, and that's the end of the video.